Thank you so much, Scott. Hey, I'm out here representing the Fromly here from the New York Comic Con. Wanted to just bring a little bit of From here to New York Comic Con this year, 2024. Um, that's amazing. Thank you. I wanted to just, you know, represent the Fromly. Come in costume. I've got my talisman with me. I'm I'm doing it all the way. You I wish I Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I'll start from here. Uh, okay. Victor's been in this. Uh, well, first off, I didn't get to this speak to you directly last time when I asked you, why is this show called Prod? Um, but I'm going to go to something deep this time. Uh, okay. Victor's been in this creepy little town uh, longer than anyone, right? Yeah. He's, been, yeah. he's been through it. He's been through it. Yeah. Um, can you tell us, does Victor really know what's going on? Or is he just playing with us? Like, is he the key to unlock, you know, madness? Or is he as lost as the rest of us? I know this seems to be like a big debate, you know, with a lot of people. I think this is what I'll say is I think that, you know, we know that that Victor's, you know, he suffered this, this, I mean, an immense trauma as a child. He was left alone there for a long time. And I think, you know, he has locked away memories and, and certainly probably certain truths about this, about this place that are just really, really scary for him to, to deal with this. And he, and I think he's, the problem is, is that he's seen too many people try and solve this place and they probably don't survive. And that's always been his conflict. Um, I mean, you know, as to whether, you know, is he holding the secrets to this place that could solve the whole problem? I don't think he, I don't think he is in the sense that he, you know, that he's, he knows that and that he, um, and he's just withholding information. I think the I think the memories that he does have are very traumatic, and while they might provide, you know, something something to help him get out of there, uh, I think that 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 he doesn't know how reliable they are. Those memories, you know, uh, I mean, you know, it's last season, for instance, he didn't even know he could he didn't remember that he had a you know he had his sister he had a sister. He locked that away, you know, and that was a really painful experience for him. So, so, uh, yeah, but you know, as to whether he is like holding the key to the whole place or whatever. Victor's whole life has been like a forest show that just won't end, right? Like, and, and he had this fantastic scene where like he reunited with his father, Henley here in this season, I believe this Sunday, when I mean, people get to watch this uh, deep dive. And the way that you're portraying your character, specifically in episode five, right? When people are going to go nuts when they see that reunion with Victor and his dad, Henry. Um, what, what, going to, how did you bring all of that to life? Uh, yeah, thanks. And it's just, uh, it's a great question. I think a lot of it is just, you know, I, uh, I mean, you know, as an actor approaching something like that, terrifying as it could be sometimes, you know, especially something that emotionally, you know, uh, big, uh, and, uh, I think it's, you know, finding ways to, that's just my own homework of just finding ways that I could relate to it in some way, you know, to make it as real as possible. And, uh, I mean, I'll say this, I mean, there's certain things that I could bring to the table that I could work on, uh, that of my own experience, I think a lot of it too, just had to be to show up and just see what was on the other side of me. The actor, Robert Joy, who plays my dad, um, we didn't connect all that much before that scene was shot. So we were kind of like almost really having that moment for the first time. And I think that there was something about that and in John's writing and in the fact that Victor says, you know, I haven't, I, was, I didn't know that I didn't know how to get back home that just seemed to open up this whole well of pain and this lifetime loss between these two characters. Yeah. You know? uh, I think sometimes it's just the beauty of it's just in, and, and it's all there on the right, you know, and just trusting. That, that is an amazing scene. Like that, that scene is going to touch so many hearts on, on this Sunday when they get to see it. Um, hope so. Yeah. Great to hear. Man. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your time. You can add. And uh, that's it from Lee. That's all I have for this interview with Scott McCord. Uh, unfortunately, 
I ran out of time with Scott. Uh, a little heartbreaking, you know, cosplay has prom here at the New York Comic Con, you know, trying to make it a special interview. Um, but we do the best we can with the time we get, you know, it's still just a blast. But guys, I just wanted to take a couple moments to just bring you into the New York Comic Con, let you see what is going on here as a special treat uh, this Sunday, but all of you guys who are checking it out, or maybe it will be this little uh, over the weekend, uh, and you're catching it later, you get to see what's still going on and check out.